Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video, we're going to be learning about comments in HTML. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. Remember that in order to start a comment, you need to use the bracket exclamation point with two dashes and to end a comment you need to use the two dashes and the close bracket. Here you'll need to end the comment before your h2 element begins. Comment out your h1 element and your p element but not your h2 element. And down here you can see the objectives for this challenge. So let's start with the H1 element and it should be commented out so that it is not visible on the page. Right now, everything is invisible on the web page over here. So in the code editor, you can just remove this. We'll head up to the H1 and we will close this with two dashes and the bracket. And then the H2 element is visible, which is here. Cat photo app. And your P element should be commented out so that it is not visible on the page. Right now it's visible over here, this paragraph element, but they want it to be invisible with comments. So we'll repeat the bracket with the exclamation point and two dashes and we'll go down I like to do a new line for it, but I mean, I'm not, I'm a beginner, so I don't know. Looks good to me. Close it with the two dashes and a bracket. Each of your comments should be closed like that with two dashes and a bracket. And you can see that they are. And you can also do that so you can expand them and you can retract them to hide the full comment just kind of neat for cleaning up your code um, let's see you should not change the order of the h1 2 or p in the code and by that they mean if you were to take this and move it by cutting it and then changing the order. So that way you would only need the one comment for this whole thing. They don't want that. They want two different comments. If you did that, it would still work. But they don't want that. They want it to be two separate comments because these are two separate elements h1 element and p element just as a reference so here we will begin to run the test which will check each of these objectives and they all passed with a check mark so keep calm and code on good job everybody thank you for following along i will take us to the outro And we begin with it. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.